and we're going to begin again today by making some old-fashioned spaghetti sauce. The Dutch oven is heating up. We're going to brown up some burger and some sausage and make that sauce. We've got burger, some mild Italian sausage, onion, garlic, little baby portobellos, and lots of spices. And then we also do have our crushed tomatoes, tomato puree, some diced tomatoes, maybe some paste, we'll see. The last of the sausage and the ground beef are browning up. We've got the rest of it over here. We're ready to start the onions, then the garlic, or actually the onions, the shroomies, and then we'll put in the garlic before adding all the tomato sauce and all the spices. The onions have worked down, so have the little baby portobellos. I've just put in the chopped uh, garlic, and that's going to work down a little bit more. Then we're going to go ahead and add the sausage and the burger before adding all the um, crushed tomatoes, tomato puree, and the diced tomatoes, maybe some paste, I don't know. But we do have what we're going into that, some Tabasco, basil, garlic, red pepper, Italian seasonings, maybe a little allspice. We'll see what else is going to come later. We'll taste and move on. Okay, now we do have the burger, the sausage, the mushrooms, onion, and garlic all back into the pot. Now we're going to go ahead and add our sauce and some of the seasonings and let it slow cook down. Yes, this is going to be heavy on the meat. That's why we call it meat sauce. I feel this is just about as full as I dare. Um, I added more diced tomatoes, three cans, no paste, no tomato sauce, but the two large cans of the crushed tomatoes and the large can of the uh, tomato puree. I've added the Italian seasonings, the ground allspice, some red pepper flakes, garlic, basil, Italian seasonings, oh, I said that already, some Tabasco. I did have to add a little bit of water. Um, just because it was so thick. This is going to cook down over a very low heat before we add any of the cheeses. Just a little parm. And maybe a little bit of sweet to take the acidic edge off. We're about an hour and a half into the simmer. I did have to add a little water because it was so thick, but I'm actually working that down slowly. Um, I did add a little bit more red pepper flakes, an Italian seasoning, and basil, and maybe a little bit more Tabasco. But it's tasting really good. I did add a little parm, and we're just going to continue to let this work down. About an hour before it's done, we'll go ahead and start the pasta. The sauce after three hours is complete, ready to go. I've got the water heating back up for the angel hair pasta, which Erin and I like. I did go ahead and make wheat pasta or wheat spaghetti for Don. We do have his plate ready. I'm about to pull out the um, garlic, butter, parmesan, Italian seasoning bread from the oven to serve up along with a salad. It's dinner. Boxed up, delivered, several other portions, all the remaining pasta. Okay, back in the pot. This should take you back to the olden days when that's what our moms did. And you know what? After the pasta soaked up all that sauce and juice and meat, it tasted the best of all.